I'm Dr. Steve Major. We're back at Major Chiropractic. We've just recently completed the last lactic acid testing and we've run the statistics on it and we're more impressed with extreme endurance than we thought we would be. Their original test results suggested that most athletes would have an average reduction in peak lactic acid at about 26%. Our guys range from 21% to about 39% reduction in lactic acid. Uh, overall, all, between the seven athletes, we were about 30% less lower lactic acid levels after their 10 sprints. At the beginning of this, uh, we, we picked seven quarter miler type athletes and we decided we were going to run 10 10 second sprints with limited rest in between. We gave them 30 seconds rest in between. Our hope was that we would find that um, if we aided them that we could reduce their peak lactic acid levels and bring them back to resting levels quicker. This would help us in a track meet or a multi-day race where we need to have an idea of how much time it took for an athlete to recover. So what we did is we had them come in, we took a baseline lactic acid reading. After five sprints, we would take the reading again. After 10 sprints, we'd take another reading. Um, at 30 minutes post, we'd take a reading, and then at 60 minutes post, we'd take a reading. So the first two sessions, they were unaided. They, were, they had no supplementation to assist them in recovery. After the second session, they were all given a packet of the Extreme Endurance, a one month supply. They were instructed to take it three tablets in the morning, three tablets at night. From the third session on, we saw a continuing decrease in their peak lactic acid levels. And we saw that they were actually recovering a little bit quicker than they were when they were unaided. So one of the other variables we threw in was using the Mark Pro, which is an electrical stimulator which helps to create a non-fatiguing muscular contraction which helps to pump the lymphatic system and clear the muscles. We gave them a chart rating from 1 to 10, with 10 being the most difficult, uh, rating their own perceived exertion levels. After the first session, all of the athletes said it was a 9 or a 10, meaning it was super hard for them. By their fourth workout, after being on extreme endurance for uh, one week, they were all in the six or seven range, and on their last session, they were almost commenting that the workout was easy and that the exertion level was at about a five. So, in summation, when we brought these kids in, what we really hoped was to match the studies that were already performed, the seven and 10 day studies that were already performed. And in fact, we were delighted to find out that we actually exceeded it by a few percentage points their peak lactic acid levels were cut by 29% versus the 26, which is what Extreme Endurance found in their studies. So our feeling is that our serious track kids should definitely be on Extreme Endurance. It, it, it's not even questionable if it had an effect. Um, it was in fact dramatic. And for, for the athletes that we know they're gonna perform better on the Extreme Endurance and they're gonna recover quicker.